Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video and most importantly to a new Pure Fiction. Uh, so this time the Pure Fiction is called Lexical Enigma and uh, let me tell you guys this one was a tough one for me because it is all based around damage over time effects. I never pulled any 5 star dot characters. I do not own a, a Kafka, I do not own Black Swan or, you know, anything of the likes. So yeah, I had to get a bit uh, crafty, I guess. <laughs> Three four-star characters and not a single five-star damage over time character. First of all, the stage effect. Increases dot taken by enemy targets by 50%. And enemy targets that receive a dot have the damage dealt reduced by 35%. So naturally you want to have as much dot as possible that might even save you one sustain unit and most importantly don't ignore this one after the enemies are attacked their action is advanced forward by 35 percent more often than not they immediately get a turn right after your character so that of course means they will trigger dots way more often because they get way more turns. It all comes around to they really want us to use damage over time characters here. So <laughs> what did I do? The first fight we have a fire and a physical recommended type here. Um, I decided on a fire based team here. I'm using Himiko. I'm also using Ginai Fan as my damage over time character. And then we have Ruan Mei in there because you know of the synergy with Himiko. Himiko wants to uh, have a lot of enemies' weakness broken as quickly as possible so she can use her talent and her follow-up attacks and Ruan Mei makes that possible. Also, a big thing about this fight, this gets quite, quite serious towards the end so you really need a very good sustain uh, to get through this. And um, I decided on my Luo Cha. I tried out a bunch of different characters uh, I really wanted to use uh, Gallagher in there because he's a fucking cool dude. And also he's he's fire-based naturally, so... You know, I thought he would be a good idea, but... In the end, he just didn't provide enough healing for me to get through this. Um, also, a lot of these enemies actually do have an imaginary weakness as well. So, I figured Lucha is probably pretty nice here and uh, he was... Uh, we are using this guy here. Then we have the cacophonies here. Comparing rebuttal to argument, there's not too much difference. But rebuttal is probably a lot better when you actually have like uh, like two or maybe even more units that can apply it all. Like if you have a, a Kafka Plex Swan team, like definitely pick the rebuttal one. Um, but for me, with only one uh, dot character, they are kind of even, and I honestly feel like argument is a bit more consistent. It's felt pretty, pretty good, pretty decent, pretty consistent. So we are picking this one for this team. And for the second fight. Um, interestingly, the second fight is not as bad, <laughs> quite honestly. So I tried out a lot of, of different setups for this fight. <sighs> Unfortunately, the game really forced me to finally level up Sampo. <laughs> Like, I I kind of dislike Sampo as a character. I do not like him. Although he gets pretty interesting now, considering the, the recent story events. But yeah, let's not talk about that. No spoilers and stuff. He is really good in this pure fiction. So <laughs> I finally decided to level him up. He's joined by Pella. Very strong character, even though she's four star. Um, her ultimate with a defense shred, insanely good. And Adron, as you might know, uh, she's idle on zero, by the way, so I have to use uh, two Nihility units with her anyway to get the maximum damage out of her. And then we also have this interesting little uh, cacophony here at the very end, the verification. So this one, when you are playing with three or more characters following the path of Nihility, uh, this one increases all of your team's damage, not just the Nihility characters, all of your team's damage by 60% and the speed by 30%. That's a lot of damage and a lot of speed. So we are using this because, you know, we have to use three Nihility characters anyway because of Adron, and then we have to use three Nihility characters for this one. So, you know, same thing seems to, to fit pretty well. Now... <laughs> Let's get into the battle. 
I can tell you right now, this is going to still be very, very close. Uh, it's almost like the game really wants you to have a five-star damage over time character at this point, but, you know, I, I kind of refuse. <laughs> we have to do it in another way. Okay, so let's get into the... Get all the techniques up. <laughs> and a lot of stuff is happening on the screen immediately. Damage, follow up attacks, debuffs, uh, dying enemies, dots. Oh my god, dude. It's insane. <laughs> okay, so what we are doing in this team is... Uh, we want to break toughness gauges. Because that leads into Himiko's follow up attacks. Whenever we break a normal enemy, Himiko gets one stack. Whenever we break a uh, an elite enemy, Himiko gets a full three stacks. At three stacks, she is going to use a follow-up attack. So, we want to make clever use of that. Let me demonstrate it. By breaking this guy's top match, she gets a follow-up attack. The second thing we uh, should keep in mind is the stage effect. So you see those wind shear debuffs? Remember they get applied on any enemy that enters the battle, on any enemy that, you know, it's their turn, <laughs> basically. And um, when we attack an enemy, they get advanced forward, which basically leads into them taking dot um, sooner. Uh, I guess I am doing this. So yeah, let's wake this guy up. It's gonna be his turn now. He's going to get all of the dots. Boom. Big damage. Weakness break, follow up attack. You know what? Let's use the ultimate here. Then... Use her ultimate. Follow up attack, follow up attack, follow up attack. <laughs> Himiko is actually pretty fun to play. Yeah, make sure to kill those trotters. They give a lot of bonus points. I'm so scared. Follow up attack. Are two enemies? <laughs> There's two enemies left, apparently. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay. Final wave. So this one gets really serious very quickly. Because, you know, we have these elite enemies that apply debuffs on us and we have Kafka 
that deals damage based on the debuffs on you. So this is a pretty intense combination. Um, which is also why I'm not going to attack these people anymore. Unless I know that I can uh, weakness break them pretty soon. Okay, so let me do this right now because I'm missing one stack on him because talent. So we are going to break this one bat or maybe this one. Let's do let's do this one. Okay, good. Luja's healing field is up. That's very important here. Yeah, so all of my basic attacks are probably going to go on the the bats. Actually, with Luocha, I think it's probably smarter to do it on these because he's imaginary. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> spray. Follow up attack. Into follow up attack. Because we broke the other elite enemy now. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, the guy on the left, I can probably weakness break really soon as well. Ah, uh, I think if I basic attack this guy and he gets another turn, I think he's going to die. So I'm going to do this right here. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if it's enough dots. Ah, oh, dude, slightly off. Fuck. Damn. Ow. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's okay, though. So I'm probably going to kill this guy, and the other one is going to get a weakness broken. Follow up. Okay, so I'm missing only one stack on Himiko. So what I'm going to do here is... I'm just going to basic attack this bat here. It's going to be enough. And now she broke the elite enemy on the right. Gets another follow-up attack. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there isn't too much I can do anymore, but let's do this to speed up my team one more time. Kill this bat. One more ultimate from her. Ooh, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> I see death. I see death. No, not her! Oh, no! <laughs> that, that's fine, though. That's fine. <laughs> Gina Fan had one more turn, but she got killed in the end. So, yeah, still, that's, that's pretty fine. Okay, second team. Uh, we are going to use the techniques 
of Sparkle and Sample. And then we engage with Ageron. Okay, so not too much to talk about in this team. Um, we basically, we are basically playing a hyper carry Ageron um, team comp. Um, Ageron is all built around attack and, and crits. No speed at all, but we do have a Sparkle in there who um, is at 160 speed. So she's able to just pull Ageron along. And then we also have Appella here with the resolution shines as pearls of sweat light cone. Um, which makes her able to basically just uh, apply another source of defense threat whenever she attacks enemies. I'll just use this. Don't care about overcapping skill points. <laughs> Insane damage. New wave, new ultimate. Yeah, there's also trotters here somewhere. Um, maybe you will notice them, but <laughs> they will quickly disappear. Not quite enough, huh? It's okay. That guy is not going to escape. We have those hound enemies. When they die, they apply a debuff to uh, the enemy adjacent to them. And that's a, a bleed debuff. And that can also count towards Atron's ultimate. There's just a, a lot of sources, a lot of opportunities for Acheron to get her ultimate up. Pretty nice. Okay, final wave. Now it gets really serious. Now we are facing Svarok. That guy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Funnily enough, though, we do actually have some kill potential here. Like, as you can see, it's actually quite possible to kill Svarok within uh, three ultimates. But we need to get very lucky. <laughs> Especially when it comes to uh, who gets attacked and who gets grabbed by the hand. Okay. Could be worse. <laughs> Could definitely be worse. Oh, 
データ種捕獲マーク起動愉快な反撃の時間ですおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお The final stand, the last stand. <laughs> well, and there we go. <laughs> Actually, a new record again. <laughs> Let's talk about、uh, our characters. Alrighty, so let me show you how I built my characters that I used in these fights.、Uh, this was my Himiko. She's pretty slow, but that's because I tried to just focus as much on damage as possible because most of her damage is just coming from the follow up attacks. So, yeah, nothing too crazy here when it comes to speed. She got the signature light cone, all other, th other stuff pretty basic. No Eidolons, of course.、Uh, then our main、uh, damage over time、uh, support for the first battle. The cute Ginai fan. But yeah, I don't know. Like, also, nothing too insane.、Uh, the traces are not maxed. She's Eidolon 3 only at this point. I bet if you got her at E6,、um, it's probably a big boost as well. Yeah, that is her. She's using the Good Night and Sleep Well Light Cone. Then we have Ruan Mei here. Memories of the Past Light Cone. You know, get more ultimates, get that break effect up. She has about 190 break effect. She's actually, she's actually quite overcapped on break, but you know, ju just ignore that. It's fine. We don't need to min max too much. <laughs> she's quite speedy. She got good defensive stats. Trace is pretty much maxed besides the basic attack. Who cares about that? And these are the relics. Of course, Eidolon Zero. Then we have Luaja as the very important healer in there. Rare points when I was really lucky in the game. I got his、uh, light cone after like three random pulls on his light cone banner. It's like, that was crazy, man. I was really happy. I still am. <laughs> But yeah, that is him. And then we have the second team. This is my Acheron.、Uh, normally, I like to use her a bit more speedy. But in this fight, you know, because we are using the sparkle, she's as slow as possible. Lot, lots of crit, lots of attack. She got her signature light gun though.、Uh, traces, pretty high up. No one cares about basic attacks. Relics, no Eidolons. And yeah, very important my sparkle. My sparkle is pretty powerful. So I saved a lot of Jade and I got her to Eidolon too, with a lot of luck as well. <laughs>、um, Trace is all maxed. She's using the past and future light gun.、Uh, whenever she's using her skill,、uh, Acheron is right after her. So, Asheron also gets a 32% damage increase just from this light cone. So, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is my sparkle. 160 speed. You know, not, not too bad. Not too bad, I would say. Then we have Pella here. Just a very basic Pella, I would say. <laughs>、uh, she's using the resolution shines as per of sweat light cone.、Um, you know, as I said, this one is kind of nice, especially when you play her with Asheron. Because this helps you to put debuffs on the enemies. The traces? Well, you know. <laughs> Only caring about the important stuff. By the way, I recently noticed how minuscule the improvement is when you go from like、uh, level 10 upwards. Like those levels are actually they are not worth at all, to be honest. <laughs> These are the relics. Of course, she is E6. And then finally. Another E6 character. Man, I still 
do not like you, but I guess I like you a bit more now. <laughs> this is my Sampo. Um, not much to focus on here, just give him as much attack as possible, give him some speed. And if you can, I guess break effect works pretty well on him too, but you know, as long as you have speed and attack and a bit of effect hit rate, which comes from the light cone here as well, I guess he's fine. These are the traces. These are the relics. I was I was too lazy to farm relics for him, so I just used uh, whatever I had left over and it worked out pretty well, so <laughs> good enough for me, I guess. So yeah, that was my team setup. Um... I hope that when you guys sit in the same boat as me, you know, maybe you're one strange person like me that hates damage over time characters. Maybe this helps you guys to clear this as well. It was pretty difficult to figure out a team setup that could uh, clear both of the stages at first and then also clear them with a high enough score, but we did it. And I'm still, I'm still not pulling Kafka. I'm still not pulling Black Swan. Screw that. I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to stay anti-damage over time. Well, I guess to be fair, now I have two four-star dot characters, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can clear this as well. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys back in two weeks for the next Memory of Chaos. Have a good one, guys.